Hello everybody, it's Steve. Welcome back to Master of Orion 2. In the last video, we defeated a big Nolbum fleet, and now we're going on the offensive once again. I'm going against the humans at the Bithmora system. The problem is they have a frigate that is cloaked, and I cannot see it. So pretty much this frigate really needs to go away while I conquer the entire system. And this is more of a reaction, or... I don't want to call it maybe not a reaction... But it's definitely one of those, hey, I'm kind of upset that you were beating me up a couple videos ago. I just want to make sure that they're aware of it. Saber's going to... That little frigate's going to retreat. We're going to take the planet of Bethmora 2, and we got the plasma torpedo technology. That's good. Also got our transport fields tech completed. We only have hyperdimensional fission left. This is blockaded, but I know it's not. I guess it is technically blockaded because we do have that human fleet there. They're heading to the Vespa system. Vespa, Vespa. Oh, I'm also working on my Sledgehammer. This is going to be my Doomstar tech. Um, all the sabers that are being constructed are for the... Uh, those are the frigates I'm using. To engage here. And take this last planet in the Bethmora system and then call it for here for now. Alright, we'll do a quick little dunsy across the way. That little frigate only has a uh, particle beam or neutronium bomb on it. It's a bomber class ship. It's meant to just blockade a system. <gasps> and we got the death rays. Cool. I don't think I need to steal much more tech, but it's really going to be an issue of just really getting back at the humans for everything that's happened that they've done to my species during this, because, again, they're kind of pissing me off. All right, we have a human fleet coming to Beth Morris, so we're going to hang on here for a little bit. Time to go. The Darlock's out of this. All right, now everything's done. I'm going to go for physics. Because if I recall correctly, getting hyper-advanced fields in physics will reduce... You just need to explode now. Who's on board you? I, mean, I thought I... Huh. I thought I killed that guy already. Weird. They're done. Uh-oh. Am I really just going to get a win here? Oh man, I think I was getting close there to having that two-thirds majority. Okay. Yeah, how many spies am I running with right now? Do I, does he have anything left I need? No, the, he has Entronium armor. That's it. And I wonder if the Nolum have that. Do you have Zentronium armor, sir? No, he doesn't. Okay. We're going to take these spies, move over to move them over to here. And I'm going to take 25 spies. Put them on the Nolum, and I'm going to send them over to do sabotage. Yeah, this looks like a Nolum world. Yep, it's a Nolum planet. And granted, the Nolum are at war with me. They did declare on me. I did not. I have not declared war on anybody. Okay, perfect. Oh man! Oh, what are the odds? I just took over the Lomar system and I took out their starbase on the way in. That was good. That was good stuff. Okay, you. Oh, wow, you are just, like, absolutely on shit suit. Oh, man, you guys are right, right now. Okay, this planet needs all the help it can get. Okay. We got our artificial planet done up here. 
Look at that. 875 industry produced on this one. How much time does it take you guys to build a sledgehammer? Okay. Eight turns to build a sledgehammer. I like it. Uh, the Nolem are going for Bethmora. Looks like we have another battle. Big battle coming this way. I'm going to engage them this time. For the exact same reasons. That way they cannot come to me and take on my point. And, you know, they get the first shot if they're engaging me, but if I engage them out on you know, the outskirts of the system, they can't really do that. Spare a couple disruptor shots for you. Spend the rest on this guy. I think I'm at the point now where if I wanted to, and I might this video, I might just go and attack Antares and just win the game. If I do another playthrough of this, and I do want to do another playthrough of this, um, I'd probably set it up where you maybe not have the option to attack Antares, and you have to actually win via conquering the galaxy, which at a certain point does get boring, or go for a subterranean playthrough, because I do like playing the subterranean. I was talking about that at the beginning of this um, little playthrough. Like, oh, maybe I can do a couple of things here and there. And I really do go back and forth with subterranean and whether or not to plan, because you can get so many more uh, people onto a plan, you can build so much more stuff. That. Let's go ahead and use that on you. I mean, these are now my sabers are engaging. And they're able to start taking out these ogre, uh, ogre threes. Wow. Okay. That did not do as much damage as I thought. I may have to do, like do like particle beams and death rays. Okay, that thing said ignore shields, but that took out the shields. Interesting. There we go. Cool. Nolan fleet gone. Alright. We destroyed another Nolan battle station. Mechlar are happy with the little treaty with me. Okay, barrier shield, barracks. Where are you running off to? Orgonus. Gnome fleet and the serpent system. Looking at where the humans are, not a lot with the, going with them right at the moment. So we're actually going to go, we're going to turn, we're going to try to wipe out the humans. Clack on planet there. Don't want to engage them yet. <gasps> it's done. The sledgehammer is finished. I like it. Um, you guys are producing 918 research or industry. Let's keep them on industry. Guys, I can also keep my tax rate non existent. Look at that. The humans have, don't barely have our fleet right now. Okay, the humans and the Clackon. I think the humans are already on the losing end of a war at the moment, and I'm just realizing. Because how are they losing... Like, soul... There's only one planet left in the soul system. That's not right. Like they had like four or five the last time I poked my head in here. I'm just going to auto this just because it's going to take too much time for me to do clicky click all the way through. So I'm thinking that the Nolum or the Clackon have actually done most of the job for us wiping out the humans. That was it actually. The Clackon had taken out the humans. Um, I need to build like I need colony bases here. Actually, I don't want to. I mean, granted, if... The, if oh, that's frustrating to me, actually. It's actually really, really frustrating.
31 turns, 8 turns. Um... I'm not going to sending a Titan. Okay. Well, if he's feeling like he needs to come at me, then it's going to go really bad for him really fast. Actually, hang on a second. I didn't bring my Doomstar. Go ahead and get him there. Hmm. Somebody's doing spying, and they shouldn't do that. Okay. I'll do a sledgehammer here. Alright. Now. 11 transport ships, and wow, these planets are awful. Okay. You know what? I'm going to find the Nolan home world, and I'm just going for it. Okay, Parma Prime is done. Barrier Shield. Do all these fancy things. Hey, you. Get over here. Okay, that's fine. I really didn't have much invested in the Lomar. So it works out for me. Hmm. Oh, Parma 3 just built it. Okay. Okay. Okay, it looks like they're going to make a run for Beth Mora. Can you guys just go ahead and just wait at Beth Mora for me, please? This is their home planet. One shot from a sledgehammer took out a battle station. Just saying. Are they not engaging? Huh. This is interesting. All right, we're done here. Since I can't actually break through their shields, there's not much I can do here. This is going to take a few moments. Okay then, since I cannot engage, since I can't take over their planet, that's a problem. Crap, I'm six turns. From four to Beth Mora. Wait, no, hang on. Let's go to the Muru system. If I can capture Muru, the jump gates are automatically installed there. Perfect. That's all I need. I uh, know, wait, sorry. Artificial planets and all that stuff. Okay. Now that I have the mover system. Doesn't really matter, because Muru was just done. Bring it to Beth Mora. Alright. <sighs> oh yeah, they're totally dead.
Gotta love when he can just rip through their shields like that. Okay. Slaw Prime finished another Sledgehammer. And there's a dimensional portal there, so I'm actually going to send the fleet there. I'm going to go to Antares. Um, I'm going to end it here. That's why I love these things. These are like just four cubes ripping through everything. Okay. Mechlar fleet going to the soul system. We got these transports coming to the Sla system. Alright, um. I honestly think I've got enough. With this fleet here, I could probably go attack Antares with very little problem. So let's actually do that. Um, it's turn 299. I'm going to be heading out there. And who knows, if this goes absolutely horribly, I may just have to make another run at it or just rebuild my fleet and do it again. attacking, which is probably why it would have been better for me to have phasing cloaks on all my ships. Black hole generator. That's a new one I haven't seen in a while. Might be a problem for me. We'll scan these guys, see what they got. Wow, they got some heavy duty guys. The reflection field's gonna be a problem for me. Bottom detonators. Damn, they didn't they did not screw around today. Yeah, 38 particle beam shots. Barely put a scratch in this guy. I might be in trouble here. Two full blasts with particle beams. Not put a scratch in them. So I'm actually in trouble right now. Got one of them. There we go. No. These, I mean, these ships take. Like, these, these ships will tank damage. I go this way. Get that taken care of. Right, bring his firing arc in a little bit. Thankfully, the shields are holding on these reflected attacks. Stellar converters probably would have been helpful here, just because stellar converters, in, if installed on ships, they the reflection fields don't work on them. Yeah, goals try to get as many of these guys knocked off the line as possible. There we go. Okay, that particle beam actually hurt quite a bit. And yeah, the Star Fortress is actually have a lot of damage. You took out one of my Doom Stars? You bitch. Oh, wow. That was an odd sound. There. 
Yeah, this thing's got an incredible amount of shielding. I mean, what is this chipping away at us? But also, it's running with... What is, what is this running with again? A lot of particle beams. Which, again, particle beams ignore shields, which is what I'm using on... Well, these guys are using disruptors. But the ships I had, I think I've lost all my ships with particle beams right now. Yeah, this isn't going to shred me. Yeah, that Doomstar didn't have much of a chance because it didn't have much to run with. But also, it uses a lot of beams. It uses a lot of beam weapons, this fleet, I notice. Or this station. I think I've actually got it here because it's, sh it's shields, air quotes, are down. It just has a damper field again. No actual shields. It's just reflecting a lot of what it's sending it at and back. Yeah, elite crew, 64 marines on board. I'm not going to be able to... I can't even run up there and grab it. I mean, it would be nice, but not really feasible. Okay, if I can't take it out in this cycle, I may actually make a run on taking it, but I think I've got it here. Yeah, it's going to kill off a couple more of my ships, and that's going to be it. What's going to get? That's it. And that, folks, is the game. is now yours to command. You have crushed all opposition beneath your heel. You rule the greatest empire in living history. Its soldiers' bravery at your command. Your army is undefeatable. Your fleets patrol the skies of every planet and galaxy. This galaxy. <laughs> but other challenges await. A master of a life. Okay, I absolutely have to turn the volume down for that attack because it was peaking my system really, really high. So, this is your Hall of Fame stuff. You do get a bonus for capturing Orion, which I didn't. Um, a lot of captured colonists, which, were they really captured, by the way, or were they mind-controlled into working for me? It, it kind of was. You do get uh, 50 points each for eliminating players. The more time you take... Uh, the less points you get for there, and you get 250 points for defeating the entire homeworld. I had that extra point available in my evo <clears throat> in that um, evolutionary mutation, so I got a times or plus 10% bonus to everything, my 2186, and I have achieved the highest score to date in my first playthrough. Well, second. Let it be known that there are no other champions better than Steve, grandest champion, yada 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 yada. Yep, yeah, up here, Valerian, impossible. So name serial, but okay, but there I am, up there at the top. <laughs> Um, okay, um, huh. I guess this was it for that playthrough. There is the Conquer the Stars version of the 2016 release. I haven't played a lot of it, but I would like to learn how that one works as well. I'm not sure, I'm, I may want to do another playthrough of this and turn off attacking Antares, making sure you have to essentially conquer the galaxy. To make that happen, or... Alternatively, I can go into the other game. Let me know what you're thinking in the comments section. That's going to wrap it up for now, though. Like, comment, share, and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and all the videos that come out on this channel. Thank you all for watching and uh, joining me on this journey. I'll see you all in the next video.